We offer both radiation oncology and medical oncology services at this cancer center, along with um, palliative care we offer. We also have social services, we have dietitians, pastoral care. So we're very lucky here in the Wilmer region in a town our size and the support we have of the community to have the services we offer here. Uh, there are services within the radiation oncology spectrum, for instance, that are not offered in normally smaller communities like Wilmer. Uh, you have to go to someplace like the cities or Sioux Falls, South Dakota to get some of the services that we offer here. This cancer center is a huge asset to the community, um, well supported by the community as well. Um, I think just as a whole, we're lucky to have the cancer center, uh, the providers we have and the staff we have to, to take care of the, the people in the community and the surrounding you know, area that we serve. So it was a normal follow-up visit with Dr. Wessler. Get there, and of course, his terrific staff and his assistant, his nurse, Gina said, John, we gotta look at this. Two weeks, the news comes back, the cells are cancerous. He said, Joe, the cancer is growing. We're gonna need to do something. And he laid out all the options for me. And I looked him right in the eye and I said, uh, Dr. Unger, what would you do? And he said, I'd take the thing out. And that's what he did. He removed the prostate gland. I had no reoccurrence of any uh, cancerous issues for about five years. Then my PSA started to tick up a little bit. They, did a, they put me under and did a specific spot. And uh, then they decided that, that I needed to go uh, 36 treatments. The biopsy was taken, came back, and then we started the surgery. And um, then I was scheduled for 13 treatments of radiation, and um, all went well. It's been a, uh, very blessed. Everything came through with flying colors. They all, you know, all the way through every one of the um, touch points and the checking was all done with great confidence that I was in such good hands. And the first time I was here I did a um, simulation. They did the simulation for the radiation and uh, and when I left those receptionists out there I, uh, they were so nice. I commented to my wife I said you know, those people really make you feel comfortable here. Uh, the receptionist always had a smile on her face. Um, she always told me if there were cookies available when I walked in the door. In fact, I got two today, so uh, I'm admitting to, uh, to, to taking a couple of oatmeal cookies. They know your name. You're not just a number in the computer. Um, you're greeted when you arrive. You're, 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 you, when you say goodbye, there's a big smile. It's like being at home. My wife and my daughter-in-law, you don't know them, but boy, are they tough people. My wife goes back to her father. We would welcome him to our house to stay, and he got cancer treatment right here. So when we took my wife, Susan, my best friend, in here, it was a pretty emotional day that day for my wife. And of course, when we got the call about our daughter-in-law, uh, Kelly, too, is one of those that um, has so much strength and stamina, and to be a, a survivor was, is a, I can't say enough, I can't, I can't thank those that, the love and support that we got, and blessed to uh, uh, have two grandsons that are, have a mother and a son who has a wife. It's a, it's a miracle, and I believe in miracles.